100% charge. All thanks to the sun. Hi, this is Paul on the Timberwalkers channel. My goal today is to begin construction on a small solar powered backup electrical system to be used in the event of a temporary power outage. This will be a standalone system. It will not be tied into the electrical system of the house. It's not going to provide a whole lot of power. I've got two 100 watt solar panels that I'm going to attach to this frame. The idea is that it can be used to power small electrical appliances, recharge devices, uh, just in case we lose power for a few days in the event of windstorm, ice storm, hurricane, tornado, those types of things. So my first step was to build this frame, which will be used to support my solar panels. I've built it out of treated wood using exterior grade screws. The product manual for the solar panel that I purchased indicated that, uh, of course, it needs to face due south here in the northern hemisphere and that the angle of the panels needs to be set at the same number as the latitude for your location. So I went online and found a triangle calculator and was able to calculate the dimensions of each side of the triangle that I would need to achieve the desired angle. I do want to emphasize that I've had no formal training as a carpenter or an engineer or electrician, but I'm not so concerned about the frame being able to support the weight of the solar panels. I think I've built it pretty solidly. I've got plenty of bracing in there. My main concern is that the solar panels don't get blown off of the frame. So uh, this piece right here will be where the solar panel sits and I want to make sure that that is very securely attached. So I purchased these connectors that I'll use to make sure that I have a good solid connection here. So instead of anchoring my posts in concrete footings, I have driven these metal U-posts. Those are a good two to three feet into the ground and I'll have them at all four corners. I'll be mounting my solar panels to the frame using the standard Z brackets. And I'll be using galvanized bolts to attach my solar panel to the frame. I have discovered that my two panels are closer together than I intended, and so this bracket that I had intended to use for reinforcement is not going to work in this particular location. So I was able to cut off one side of the bracket and I think that's going to work just fine. Didn't take long for the carpenter bee to find it. So the carpentry portion of this project is officially complete. As you can see, the panels are located very close to the house. So running the cables into the house should be fairly straightforward. I've got my two 100 watt solar panels wired together with these specialized MC4 connectors following the instructions that came with my kit. Now I will run the wire that will go into the house. I'll try to make the installation as neat as I can. 
the wire that came with the kit apparently is suitable for burying directly into the ground. So digging a, a trench to take it uh, to the house. So I drilled a hole into the side of my house. After just a very few moments of fishing through the wall, I did achieve success. So now I'll pull a string back down through to the outside and then I'll pull the wire back up into the house. Here where the cable comes up out of the ground, I will run it through a short piece of conduit for some protection and then through a box that I will attach to the house. Ready to pull my wire through the wall and into the house. And of course here's where the wire comes into the house. Here's the little cabinet that holds the charge controller. I've installed the proper fuses as directed in the instructions. I've also connected a couple of 12 volt outlets so I can use kind of a car charger type thing if I want to charge electronics. Now you may be wondering since I've not connected the wiring to the house wiring am I going to be limited to only using the power in this room here where the wire comes in and here's my solution this red and black wire here is the outgoing wire to the battery and here is my battery now this is actually a combination battery and inverter it's a Schumacher Storm 700. The inverter is a pure sine wave 700 watt inverter with uh, DC outputs as well as uh, 120 or 110 volt outputs and a couple of USB outputs. The nice thing about this, it's got a nice handle and it's got wheels so once the battery is charged, I can move it around the house to the place where I want to use power, whether that is for the refrigerator or a fan or a computer or whatever the case may be during a power outage. A couple of final thoughts. One, my intention here is not to give you a detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a solar power system but rather just present a concept for uh, a small system that uh, can be used as a backup source in the event of a power failure. Also I should mention that uh, when I tallied everything up uh, I was pretty close to a thousand dollars in putting up together this project. I would certainly welcome any feedback, positive, negative, that you might have. Any comments or suggestions, please do leave that for me. And I will include uh, a more detailed written description with the cost breakdown in the uh, video description below. Thanks so much for watching.